Well, we're down to the final finished product here. Um, there is no lube on this and everything has been cleaned up perfectly. And I'm going to tell you a few things I did do that weren't really on camera. So I worked really hard on bringing that Diana logo back. And you, it may be, I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up, but there is still a tiny bit of rust there, but I don't want to work until it's all gone. My logo, it almost looks like it's oiled up now, but it's actually not. And there was a lot of pitting down here on the bottom. So I re-blued all of that. Everything has been re-blued on here. Um, not perfect for sure. You can see that area that I worked on right there. And I probably can keep still, I could probably keep working on it, but I'm not going to. What we're going to see now, what happens, how this pops or shines up once I add a little bit of oil to it. And I need to run a patch down the barrel too because I worked on the muzzle end here and I re -blued that. So I'm just going to hit this with some battle stall. This stuff gets everywhere. I got grease all over the place. Such a mess. But I did get rid of uh, some major bad spots. So I like that. I'm just going to spray that there. Spray that there. It's in the basement. It don't matter. So this is actually shined up pretty nice. I'm happy with it. It's definitely not professional. There's probably going to be somebody out there that told me I did it wrong, but I did it my way. All I care is that this works and it's better. That's all you can do. I'm sorry if I go off camera sometimes with the rifle because I want to keep my eyes peeled on the rifle and what I'm doing. Oops, like right there. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't put a ding on it that I can see, but I wish this camera could pick it up a little bit better. Maybe when we get some editing going on, wipe that guy off better on the sides. That's where I try to fix that spot. At least it's protected. And underneath, underneath where there was lots of pitting. I'm rolling the barrel right now. I don't know if it looks like it, but the muzzle end, which I will run a patch through that for sure. All right, before I forget, one thing I was doing uh, when I was using the cold blue, <clears throat> what they didn't say to do is what I did. I rolled this back and forth with the cold blue on it while it was still wet, as wet as it could be. And I went back and forth, back and forth. And I think that made a huge difference on this re-bluing job on the barrel. And it does look really nice. Lighting isn't the greatest in here in the basement, but it looks way better to me anyhow. Here, these areas, which don't look the best, but better for sure. I rotated it. I went in a circular fashion like I was polishing boots or something like that. So that's all you got to think about as is you're polishing something. Wipe this off again. So I hope this video could possibly help somebody because <laughs> the blue Loctite or the blue, not the blue Loctite, but the liquid wrench actually loosened up this screw here. So I'm going to back that out, re-alcohol that, and re I'm going to put alcohol on this screw here and screw it back in with blue Loctite. Yeah, that stuff does work for loosening screws, so hopefully these other screws <laughs> won't pack out. That's one other thing to consider. Anyhow, I just wanted to share this video with you. I hope, <laughs> I hope it's decent. I hope it doesn't misguide anybody in any sort of way, shape, or form. Um, so, time to go enjoy the day. God bless everyone. You have a great time. <laughs> God bless everybody. Um, like and subscribe. I highly appreciate that. And have an awesome day.